Yo, what is up guys, Coach Tech here. So today we actually have another soundbar to review. This is a soundbar from Yamaha. This is a YAS-108. I'm gonna show you guys this big box. Oops, it almost slipped. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Quickly, let's see what it supports. All right, 4K Ultra HD. I don't know what the, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. This is their fancy uh, branding in Yamaha that it supports 4K Ultra HD. Guys, all these soundbars support 4K Ultra HD. Don't get caught on that BS. Okay, so it does support HDMI, Bluetooth, Dolby, Dolby Audio, DTS, and DTA, uh, DTS Visual X. So a bunch of fancy things. Let's uh, let's pack this bad boy out the box. Let's see what it does, uh, and uh, let's get to it. All right, so guys, so everything is out the box. Now quickly, of course, we get power. We get uh, this. Uh, we get a digital optical. I was about to call this display port. <laughs> we get optical. Uh, we get some sort of adhesive that I don't know what the hell to do with. Uh, we have booklets, and we also have a little booklet here to uh, instruct you on wall mounting this. Now, this you could wall mount. Uh, we didn't receive HDMI. I don't know. They gave us just optical and no HDMI. That's very, very strange. Uh, quickly, with this remote, this is actually a really cool remote. It's a very small remote just used for the soundbar. This is not, it wouldn't be a universal remote. As you guys can see, everything is listed. On the remote control, we have your volumes, we have your 3D sound, we have HDMI, TV, analog, Bluetooth, surround, stereo, but you guys could read this for yourselves. Anyways, to the sound bar. Oof, look at this, look at this, look at this. All right, so you guys can see the sound bar. This is how the sound bar looks. All right, you guys are not gonna get any of these pan fancy shots. Uh, <laughs> first impressions, man, look at this, the mesh, the mesh of the, the mesh that kosher hates, guys. The mesh that kosher hates. Uh, decent, uh, good build quality. Can't say it's not uh, built really good. Got a bunch of mesh. Now, of course, you have your indicators over here in the bottom, as you guys could see that they will light up, of course, once the sound bar is turned on. Uh, now, quickly, let's turn this back. Now, I don't know how you guys are gonna see the ports inside, but you guys could read them. You have HDMI, optical, HDMI, ARC, and, and, yeah, you could connect the subwoofer to this too. So you could actually connect the sub and your power goes back here. Uh, and that's mostly it. And of course you have USB to only update the firmware of the soundbar. Uh, and then you have two ports over here on the side where the woofer blows out air. And then you have one more here. And that's basically it. Now this I would say also is a compact, uh, maybe say it's a compact, it's not standard size. It's also uh, maybe a compact soundbar. But uh, let's turn on the music. Let's see how it sounds. And of course, then let's connect it to the TV and see what it sounds to. All right, let's go. All right, you guys, so everything is connected. I'm about to turn up the music. I was just demoing it, and I gotta be 100% clear with you guys, honest. <laughs> this thing sounds great, man. This thing sounds absolutely amazing for $200. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this in the start of the video, but this thing is only $200, guys, and it absolutely actually blew my mind for music. Now, quickly, these, uh, these little, uh, they're not buttons, but little indicators over here, they are touch-based. So you could touch them and they're gonna increase and decrease and switch to uh, different sources and so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool, everything is touched. And if you don't have the remote control, you could just quickly touch it to, pa to play, pause. Uh, actually not to play, pause, to volume up, down, mute, and switch sources and turn off and turn on the soundbar. But anyways, I am gonna play a quick demo song just for you guys to hear it now. I was pretty impressed. The, the bass on this thing wasn't that bad without even a sub. So quickly, let's hit that play button. Let me get my phone. Let me raise the sound bar and let's go. Yeah. All these empty faces talking about problems I don't care. I can't wait till sundown cause my body's aching. I just wanna dance. I just wanna dance. Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd feeling heartbeat Everybody's carefree, everybody's carefree Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd feeling heartbeat Don't you wanna party? Don't you wanna party?
Now quickly, all right, it absolutely sounded great. Now quickly, there is a uh, surround option here too that gives you that little virtual surround. Now, the, how, how they have it set up, we have speakers, we have woofers on top and as well as on the bottom right over here. So you have basically the, the sound, you know, the whole surround sound you could say is coming from, you know, all over. And it sounds absolutely amazing because when you hear it play, you hear the air coming out from here and you hear it coming out from here and from all the sides. So it's pretty dope. Like I said, for 200 bucks, it's pretty dope. Now, quickly, let's demo it on surround sound. Now, surround sound is not, it's not particularly for me. I like to always have this on stereo, but I'm gonna turn on surround. All right, guys, so now quickly, I'm gonna demo this in surround. Let's go. Close my eyes and pretend that I'm not here Cause I just wanna dance I just wanna dance Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd feeling heartbeat Everybody's carefree Everybody's carefree Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd feeling heartbeat Don't you wanna party? Don't you wanna party? This sounded absolutely amazing, guys. I mean, you know, as you guys know that, you know, the sound quality is not gonna be the same shooting this via, you know, camera than, you know, through YouTube. I'm just giving you guys my perspective how it sounds to my ears and it absolutely sounds amazing for the price of $200. Uh, besides the ugly mesh, which I always hate because it gets dirty and there's always particles and you gotta always clean it. The little uh, touchscreen displays are nice on the panel. As I showed you guys, those touchscreens are nice. Uh, overall, it's honestly fantastic. You could use this as a soundbar and as well as for music as well. But anyways, let's connect it to the TV and let's see how it plays audio from the TV. Let's go. All right guys, so the soundbar is now installed onto the TV. Let me show you guys quickly how it looks. All right guys, so the soundbar is installed. You guys could see the soundbar is right over there. Now this is a standard size soundbar. Now this is a 65 inch TV as you guys can see. It actually looks really good except of course, for the nasty mesh. But anyways, let's demo the sound. All right, you guys, so we are gonna demo, of course, Thor Ragnarok as the sound test. Now, I'm gonna set this up as stereo, and then I'm gonna switch it out to surround, the virtual surround that Yamaha offers. Let's go. Guy, I'm happy. And of course, the volume is maxed out. Hey, to see you. <laughs> Switch this to surround. So once the round is turned on, I just want to give you guys a quick heads up. You get more of the audio. You get that virtual, more of that virtual audio from the top. And uh, when it's stereo, you get more audio coming out here from the center of the sound bar. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty interesting. But once the round sound is turned on, it does get, you know, a little too distorted in the, in the loudness. But anyways, 
Now it's conclusion time, guys. All right, guys, so we back at it now. Quickly, as I mentioned in my uh, previous video for the um, the Bose Soul 5, it was also in the similar price range. It was around $200, $250, as I said in that video. You know, if you, you know, if you're trying to get a new TV, you go to any of these retailers, you order it online, and you have a budget of, I don't know, like $800. Usually, when people, you know, you go, you get your apartment, you get your house, you don't want to spend too much, you get $800 TV, you want to spend maybe a few hundred dollars on audio, maybe 200 bucks, honestly, this thing is good. Either the Bose Soul 5 or this soundbar, I mean, I, I would say, you know, if, if you're looking for a compact soundbar, probably that and the Beam, but if you're looking for a standard size for that price, I'll definitely say the Yamaha, the YAS, one, the Yaz 108 as I call it. Um, the the took the takeaways that I got honestly fantastic sound, uh, is, is especially for uh, music as well. You have different uh, options there for surround and uh, for stereo. The surround does give you that cool effect of giving you that virtual surround sound. And like I said, the the speakers when you enable surround, the, the speakers the the top speakers actually um, get utilized a little more. It gives you more of that that uh, that audio and, and, and bass you you receive. But overall, and also, you know, when it's turned up to surround, I, I just feel it gets a little too loud and gets a bit too distorted. So I, I just like to keep it on stereo and just max up the volume. And it just, it sounds honestly fantastic. The dialogue was great. The bass was surprisingly, surprisingly really good with uh, with this soundbar. I mean, it's $200, you know, you guys are basically in a budget buying the soundbar. Of course there's, you know, the play bar, the bass, you could get the uh, the Bose uh, Sound Touch, what is it like, um, the 30 or whatever the hell it's called. But anyways, you can get other options, you know, much more features. And uh, speaking of features, it does support uh, Dolby, uh, Dolby, um, uh, Dolby DTS, and uh, I already forgot, but as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it does support all those other features. Uh, overall, fantastic soundbar, good quality build. The only problem is I had with that mesh. And the, the touch, the touch controls are pretty cool, pretty neat. I got 200 bucks, man. What do you want me to say? You know, I, I can't fault it for, you know, it's $200. If this was $700 or $800, then it would have been a different story, guys. But for 200 bucks, get on Amazon, you get it in whichever retailer you want. I'm have all the links below, but fantastic quality, TV quality, music quality, you know, no complaints for the price. And if with all the features that you guys basically get, but let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think, you know, the link is going to be below for the um, for this soundbar, guys. And of course, you could also add an external sub, which is even more insane. So you can have more of that bass. Uh, but that's that, guys. I'm Kosha Tech, and I'm going to catch you guys next time. Deuces.